Gemini, and welcome to your June 2019 reading. I am Lorianne, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium, here to give you all the messages for the month. We're looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Gemini, and happy birthday to all of you. So, we're going to do a general reading, meaning not everything is going to be applicable in your life. Take from the reading only what is actually part of your life. And then I recommend that, that's my puppy choking or something, <laughs> he's sleeping down there. Um, I do recommend that you guys actually look at your moon and rising sign. That'll give you a really good idea of what to expect for the month of June. We're gonna look at love, career, finance, family, friends, whatever message I get, I will relate to you. So we are definitely starting off with the strength card. Some of you, are lacking in strength right now. And the universe is saying, you know, the strength card is about having the courage to overcome fear. You know that old saying, just do it, right? Just freaking do it. There's another word for it too. But this is about you getting up and pulling from deep within you to get the strength and courage to move forward in whatever it is in your life that you've been holding back on. Okay, the Four of Pentacles is not in balance. It means that you're not giving and receiving in free form. Some of you, this has everything to do with your money where you may have been holding on a little bit too tight and the universe is saying, no, open up. You have to spend a little to make a little, right? Like me with the retreat, I put all the money out front for that hotel. So we have to spend a little to get the outcome that we're looking for, right? Now, this has everything to do with your finances. If you open up and you put a little, invest a little here and do it this way, but be very methodical. The strength card is also about having the ability within you to know whether you need the strength and courage. So you are already well aware whatever you've been holding back on is gonna lead you to feeling grounded, financially secure. This could be a job offer for some of you where you may not have accepted it in the past. Maybe you felt that it wasn't going to pay you enough. But I'm seeing that whatever this opportunity is, most likely a job offer, not only is it gonna bring you joy and happiness, it's gonna bring you that prosperity that you've been looking for. It's gonna make you feel like you are invincible and you can do anything. It's gonna be lovely, lovely energy. And I wanna pull one more card, okay. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is you analyzing everything to know, do I invest, do I not? Do I accept this job offer, do I not? This is doing the research, okay? Checking everything out, looking at what you've invested in the career that you have, in the job for the company that you have compared to a brand new one where you only have the one pentacle to look at. Now, I am seeing the King of Wands. This is a person who is very good at running a, uh, a company. Now I'm seeing a mom and pop shop. Uh, it's a smaller company and the building looks like it's a single level building, but it's like gray and it's really, really long. Kind of like uh, the buildings that they use for UPS trucks, stuff like that, how the buildings are really long. That's what I'm seeing here. This person, whoever this King of Wands is, they're going to interview you. This job is actually gonna lead you to a lot of money. And that is gonna be very, very good for you. It's gonna help you grow, and it's exactly what you've been wanting. For some of you, this is about education, where you may need to get some help from family members in order to get the funding to go to school. It looks like it's not, uh, it could be summer school, but it looks like it's um, a trade school. It's not a big campus. It looks like a trade school. It's a lot of burden on you, whatever this is that you've been analyzing, wondering. And again, 
very well possible you've been holding back on investing in your career, in your education, learning a new skill set that could really open you up to bring in more money. It's a lot of weight on your shoulders, but I see in the month of June, you are going to make a decision. You're literally going to open up. You're gonna open up emotionally as well. Whatever this job is, you're gonna be very happy at it, and you are most definitely gonna make a lot of money at it. So, temperance is here. Make sure you're in balance throughout the month of June. The whole month of June, you guys. I'm hearing all of it. Because this is like, it's not, it's kind of like crunch time. It's like you really have to put everything you have into this. A decision needs to be made in the month of June. So I see you really working on it, analyzing, researching, doing all the work you need to do in order to uh, make the right decision for you in order to get that strength and courage to overcome the fear, right? And let go of this burden because you have a brand new beginning coming. This brand new beginning is all about you, your career, your education, learning, growing within. The Empress is all about growth. It's about birth. It's about birthing a new business, birthing a new career, a new skill set, right? It's also about a romantic situation some of you are in a relationship right now where you and your partner are not necessarily on the same page. I don't see like, well, let me finish pulling the cards. I'm not seeing right now where it looks like an ending. It looks like a lot of um, not opening up. You guys are not talking to each other. There's no communication. And the universe says, no, it's time. It's time for you to communicate and open up to your partner. Just uh, so I don't forget, we're looking at the zodiac sign of Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We've got everything here. We've got all energies of all zodiac signs here for you guys. Yeah, we have the Seven of Pentacles again. So a lot of research, a lot of really making sure whatever this is you're working on. Okay, some of you it is romance. Most of you, this is career and education. For another group of, uh, as you analyze, you're really gonna come to the right decision. When you make the right decision or you know you have it, that's gonna lift your courage and your strength to move forward and you will take action. The Knight of Wands, this is about you getting on your horse and taking action toward this goal, okay? Really expanding your knowledge through education, through this trade school, through uh, the research that you're doing alone. Sorry, I think I, I missed something here with this uh, partnership you guys are analyzing going back a minute sorry about that they throw a lot of information at me at once so I have to get it out super quick and those of you who have had a reading with me you know that so I'm seeing that the two of you are actually trying to get back on the same page because you haven't been communicating and you're working at it you're working at it separate um, both of you are analyzing. It's almost like there's something going on in the relationship, and I think really it's all about the lack of communication where you're going to actually get on the same page. For some of you, this is about your finances. You're not connecting because you're having some financial difficulties, but that is going to end in the month of June after you analyze your money. Where are you putting your money? Are you making the grocery list? Are you paying your bills on time? Or are you going to wind up paying an extra $30 a month per utility because it wasn't made on time? So really analyzing how much you can save through being organized and efficient. Now for another group of you, it looks like you're gonna meet somebody brand new and this is being brought to you by divine. This could be your actual life partner coming in where the two of you, although you're different and unique and you're beautiful each individually, 
you complement each other coming back. When we're looking, and I'm gonna use these as the example, when we're looking at the King of Wands, this is a person who's very social, very charismatic, very charming. They can step in front of a crowd and talk to a lot of people. Very good at running anything, actually. Now, the downside is they can be very arrogant. They can be kind of full of themselves, very much so. I also see them as being a very stubborn individual. So that could be a, a bit of conflict for you, which makes you want to analyze, do I even want to go out with this person? But I don't see you arguing. And here is the Queen of Pentacles. So you equally are very good at running a business, not only a business, but a household. You can do it all. You're like, what's that commercial, you know, where the mom was, I can, uh, the song where it's like, I can bring home the bacon, I can fry it in the pan. That's you, that's the way I always see this card. Amazing. So you're really grown as far as um, everything about you has grown. This person is gonna love, love, love you. For another group of you, I do see somebody from the past returning. And this particular person, you may have been thinking about them all the time, seeing their name everywhere, seeing those synchronicities. They are coming into you, and this is very much a soulmate relationship. You have an opportunity for a lot of you in these two groups, these two groups that I just talked about, where you're meeting somebody brand new. You have an opportunity to create a beautiful, harmonious relationship, all right? And it can be absolutely amazing when you open up to it. Now, for the other group where I see somebody returning, the universe is saying they are coming in with a sincere apology. They are showing up again as the King of Wands. So this is somebody that may have been giving you a bit of a hard time back then, um, definitely like triggering you to what you feel are your flaws, but you've worked on them, you've grown. It looks like you guys haven't communicated in one to two years. One to two years. Yes, one to two years. Yep, that's what they're saying. So you've been under a lot of stress regarding this person. Now, they are coming in. They are giving you the truthful information. This is communication coming in. Now, they're a very passionate person. When I say passionate, I mean passion on every level. And you already know this because you're familiar with them. They had a different version of a relationship than you did. They may have come in in the player uh, mode and just kind of came in. It looks like you were together for a couple few months and then in and out. I see in and out. But there are long periods of time before the two of you come back together. They're coming in to tell you, they are gonna tell you they love you, most definitely. They're gonna tell you that because it, this is about them opening up on an emotional level in a way that you did not. And again, this is general, so it can be vice versa. So if this is you, read it that way. But they would like to try again. They wanna start over, they wanna start from scratch, they wanna to get to know you. Now, it is gonna take some courage and strength for you to overcome the fear that you have associated with that person, but you can do it. This is very doable for you right now. You've grown, you know who you are. So it's a really lovely reading here for you guys. Now what I'm gonna do is pull an advice card for you. It's whatever, and this is for each and every one of you, whatever the universe wants you to know, for some of you, this is a soulmate you're getting ready to meet in the month of June. So be prepared for those of you who are gonna meet a soulmate. We have that great connection. You get together, it's wonderful, amazing, and poof, it's gone. And you're like, what? All right, so get ready for that. Some of you, this is your life partner returning back to you, or you're going to actually meet them in the month of June. It could lead to marriage, most definitely. So let's see what they want you to know when it comes to 
advice. We have abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. And you are, Geminis, you are amazing. Absolutely incredible. I am an air sign, aqua, and this is all about you. This is about you doing exactly what I said. You've been working hard. You're coming into abundance. The education, the skill set, everything, even love, is going to lead you to abundance. So this is going to be an incredibly, um, a new, fresh month for you guys. I like that. That's good. So let me pull you a romance angel card. And for those of you, if you like me, you like my style, please subscribe. That's what keeps the channel up and going. If you like this video, thumbs up and share. And again, if it doesn't resonate with you, check out your moon and rising sign. Also, before I forget, those of you who are interested in the June Empowerment Retreat, this is about you getting that courage and strength, right? And growing, being prosperous in all areas of your life. That's in June, and I am currently uh, buy one, get one free. Now, I've had a couple of you tell me that you do not have another person. If you'd like to go at that price of 500, send me an email. I can match it with another person on the backside so I can still get you in. But you have to send me an email, ascending souls journey at gmail.com. And if you'd like a reading, the 30 and 15 minute reading is on sale. Um, ascending souls journey.com. It's up here, it's down there, it's on the website, it's kind of everywhere on YouTube. So we've got three cards that came out for you, Gemini. The first card that comes out is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to pick them in a romantic way. These are romance angel cards, but they can be somebody from the family, friend, somebody else returning, but it's all about a reconciliation, right? Remember I said you guys were apart, they're coming back. This is saying, oh yeah. Now, you guys have incredible chemistry. This is strong. This is sexy. This is off the charts. So whether it be the person coming back from the past or the new one that you're about to meet, remember I said it could be a life partner. The chemistry, the reconciliation is aligning for a life partnership. And there we go. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So confirming yet again, this reading for you guys, this is going to be an incredible month where your true love is coming in. When I say true love, I'm talking your life partner. Each and every one of us have a life partner, right? Doesn't mean it's a soulmate that triggered us to fix or the twin that <coughs> did that. <coughs> Excuse me. So these are beautiful cards, and I am gonna pull. <clears throat> well, I think something. I think a bug flew. In. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull from the Whispers of Love Oracle, and we're gonna see how this ties in with the reading. Whatever the universe wants you to know, physical touch is important. Oh my goodness, it is so important. I don't mean sex, although it can be. The physical touch, okay? If you're alone, touch you. Wrap yourself around you. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. You see, they aren't just talking about you. They're talking about people around you. They're talking about your family, your friends. So anybody you love, let them know by the gentleness of a loving gesture, okay? So, and yourself, and yourself. Jim and I have an absolutely incredible month. Happy birthday again, and much love.